Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. Just wanted to show you the small solar water heating unit that I just built. And it's pretty cool because you can power it uh, both via solar power. Uh, I have a power pole connector right here that can go directly to my uh, solar battery box, which I've showed in previous videos. It's right here. That's my solar battery box, 300 amp hour, 3500 watt inverter. And you can see I could plug it right into here. So you see my 30 amp fuse port right there that I can plug that power pole right into there and it will heat up that element. And that element is uh, 12 volt, uh, 200 watts. So 30 amps should, should easily do it. Now, the reason why I built this is because this unit right here, this brute, this has a 12 volt, 700 watt uh, heating element in it. And for me to use the battery box, it'll, it'll heat it up and it'll heat up the 20, the 20 gallons of water. But really, uh, the purpose why I did this is in case, uh, you know, my kids are over and we're without hot water for whatever reason, we can at least heat it up and all of us can have enough hot water for a shower. But we had kind of a uh, weather-related emergency. Uh, we had a lot of cold weather and, the, uh, and we had a bunch of snow, about 18 inches, and this past week. And the apartment complex hot water went out. So they had to replace the hot water heater in the apartment complex here. And I don't need 20 gallons to take a shower, and I don't think anybody does. Um, you can get yourself clean with a good five gallons. And I actually spent about 10 minutes in the shower using this with my submersible uh, solar uh, shower unit where you just submerse uh, a pump right into the water right here and it pumps up into a shower head and uh, you know via hose and you can just take a shower it has a little suction cup that you put on the wall where you can hang the shower head and you don't even need to hold it uh, so it's pretty cool and anyway um, just to go over this a little bit we have our hot water spigot right here that you want to just if you just need hot water for you know making coffee or whatever you can just take it out of there and this is my uh, my water level tube right here you could see if you could see the kind of the dark line right there that's the water level and it's about equal to where the tube is and you want to make sure that the water level doesn't get below where the heating unit is otherwise you're gonna burn it out now this heating unit is pretty cool. It is a 12 volt, 200 watt unit with a variable thermostat. And you can see right here that I have the thermostat. You see uh, right here, there's a, a line, which it's kind of hard to see, but it's put right in about 120 right here. It's, it's set for 120 and, and you notice this thermostat right here it's at 120 and uh, are 10 10 degree uh, Fahrenheit graduations right there so you can see uh, we're at 120 and just to show you the inside you can see the unit and the unit is producing bubbles because it's heating up the water all right so uh, pretty cool unit and uh, maybe I'll just show you guys the uh, shower head that I used. It's called, Z made by Zosin. And, hold on one second. Okay. I'll take this out. Z-O-E-S-O-N. And there's cheaper ones on eBay. I look, there's actually one for like 26 bucks. I got this for like 50. But this is pretty cool. It has, um, you know, your submersible pump here. And you have the shower head, and it can be charged by uh, USB, so you don't need to have it plugged in when you're taking a shower. And like I said, you know it has a hook with with a uh, plunger, a a, um, a suction cup that you can just suction to the wall. 
So it's a pretty cool unit. Uh, I got mine for 50 but you can get cheaper ones that I'm probably going to get another one on eBay that I saw for like $26. Um, just to have as a spare because it is pretty handy. Um, and I don't need a Zosin. I really don't know what the difference is because they actually both look exactly the same. They're both made in China. But I tell you, the, uh, the quality of it is great. And I used it uh, five times. We were without water for about five days, uh, hot water, but we did have power. So uh, I powered this unit with my uh, Astron uh, DC power unit. And this is a 30 amp unit, which is exactly what my solar battery box is. So this powered it great. We still had power, so I didn't need to use any juice from uh, my uh, solar battery so it's pretty cool anyway uh, please like subscribe comment uh, always interested in hearing your comments about this especially about this little thing here which took me literally uh, 30 minutes to make and there's you know if you go to Missouri Wind and Solar um, they have a video on how to do this so it's really easy uh, anyway Vermont Prepper out and as always keep prepping